extreme heat, a lot of us are making plans to spend time outside. If you're heading to the beach, you'll want to be careful with more than just the sunlight. ABC's Victor Oquendo has more on the surprising risks of those big beach umbrellas. This morning, a woman recovering after being severely injured by a beach umbrella. In response to an umbrella going through an 85-year-old female's leg, she is awake and alert. This is the latest incident of beachgoers dodging umbrellas. In 2023, watch as this water spot in Clearwater Beach rapidly approaches shore. Umbrellas going airborne, turning them into dangerous projectiles, injuring two people. On a beach in Massachusetts, a 13-year-old pierced in the arm in 2019. Impaled by a flying umbrella. Sounds like injury to the left arm. This umbrella barely missing a toddler. And in 2022, 63-year-old Tammy Peralt killed on a South Carolina beach after being struck by an umbrella. This morning, it's frightening scenes like these that prompted officials to establish new safety guidelines. Anything that can actually enhance the beachgoers' experience is the best thing possible. The updated standards from the American Society for Testing and Materials recommended 75 pounds of resistance on the bottom pole. This is one of the new umbrellas that meets all the new standards. This one has has this orange line right there that lets you know how deep you should be. The next step is very important. You want to fill this base up. If you do this properly, a gust of wind of up to 30 miles per hour will not move this umbrella. Is it more about the umbrella itself or is it about the anchoring mechanism? It's both. It's both because the anchor is the most important part of it to get it into the sand at the proper depth and also having the enough poundage that the uh, umbrella doesn't come out during high winds. The U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission says to look for anchors with a label indicating meets ASTM F36812 for winds up to 30 miles per hour. Lifeguards show us how some so current umbrellas have a hard time up against wind if not properly secured. They put it in the sand, they start to rock back and forth. It's not secure. Any kind of wind from any direction can actually pick this up and it goes flying. Easily. Easy. A small gust of wind starting to invert this beachgoer's umbrella as she was wrapping up for the day. It's just a mess to, to open up right now. Um, they can be difficult, but also if a wind came by, it could pick it up and cause an injury. If you're using a beach umbrella, officials say you should dig a two-foot hole and make sure to use a weight or base to make sure it doesn't move.